Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video, let's take a look at some of the EVs here. Well, one of our favorites starting off with Tesla and then we'll take a look at Rivian, Lucid and Ford. Neo has also been showing a really good price action, but I'm not going to mention or talk about that in this video because I did a video on Neo just today. Check this out. It's on my channel right over here, Neo stock. So it's right over there. All right. So I start off with Tesla once I also let you know none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. So what I talked about um, in the video over the weekend that was yesterday that no new again on my channel no new uptrend for many weeks is that what's going to happen right. So why so because the way this sell off candle came over here was such a strong sell off candle at that same earnings break of the chart structure. And also, as you are aware, that's where we had so much of short sellers also come in. So that area with high short volume previously acted upon, then we are selling off again at that very level. Also, that's a break of the price structure. And not just that, this also was in the confluence with this level at 234, was also in the confluence with, if I go to the weekly interval, uh, 200 weeks moving average. So there was just a lot of confluence piling up. And so this is a really big, strong supply zone. And that's why I mentioned that uptrend, at least, well, rebound, there's a difference between rebound and an uptrend. All right. Now, possibly, so we'll have to go to the hourly interval, guys. Yes, today some upside came, but are we strong enough, right? I talked about if we can get above this $214 level and 65 cents, some upside is possible to the level of 219 area. Precisely, the Tesla stock stayed within that range. Now, we'll talk about in just a second what to make out tomorrow, but on five minutes interval today, we had some upside, we had some downside, but because we had such a sell-off the day prior, today's uh, strength was there in the morning a little bit here you can see structure stayed bullish but then we turned red structure again became bullish over here got back above but this is where it broke the structure again and then you can see we are still dealing with some weakness we are you know still stayed above the cloud for most of the day but eventually just gave up right so there is still weakness in tesla stock here all right so, and you can see we are still reacting into that supply candle um, and we are still selling off. So what to look for tomorrow? Again, at this point, because here's the thing, we are still, we are able to hold above 20 days moving average again, because at least for the intraday, we did get above 214, one of the levels. You can see the levels here, right? 214 and 72 cents. And we got to our next level of 219 and 83 cents what to look for tomorrow well it's the same thing you are watching still tomorrow if first of all on hourly interval if we can stay above 214 and 72 cents it still can be played to the upside but just because it's huge supply here just be careful take whatever you can you you have to use my tools to identify where the structure is bullish breaking and all those two things that i just showed you on the lower time frame as well right and as if we continue above 219 in during the early market hours, let's say in the pre-market, let's go to the five minutes interval again. Let's say in the pre-market, if Tesla somehow gets to 219 and even gets above it, and as it can hold, that's an upside play as well. It all comes down to the strong bullish play is above 219 and 80 cents for the next run up to 225. Otherwise, you are watching 214 tomorrow as well, as long as we don't break it we are still fine above it. But if we break it, that's where we have a problem again. So that's those are the levels to watch tomorrow, 214 and 70 cents for a potential support and a breakout above 219 and 80 cents. What if we go above here, but starts to reject at 219 and 80 cents area, right? I would not wanna short it here because in the near term, we are trying to go a little bit up, right? So let's try a 30 minutes interval. Let's see if things are more clear there for this particular purpose. Because the reason I don't want to short at 219 right now, and only if it loses 240 and 76 cents, because technically we are trying to go in this upward structure as on a little bit of a lower time frame, like 30 minutes. 
And as if we continue up here, but you start to see rejection, I would also want to see a trend line break then only. And where would that trend line be, right? That's another question. So let's actually put this up from here. It's not a perfect trend line, but um, that's what it comes down to. And you can see it's breaking right now in the post market. So you can, if it stays below this trend line, right? And then we lose this 214 and 71 cents. Yes, we have a problem. But if we can find support here, that could be a rebound, even if it's below the trend line, but at 214 and 670 cents. But the, let's say if we get above to 219 and fails to break this level in the first few market opening hours, you are still watching this trend line first. And then I also expect because there's consolidation sitting here, there is chance that we might go some chopping. And so if you really want a clean breakout or clean flush, that's below 214 and 71 cents. Otherwise, downside will get you in some choppiness in my opinion and otherwise it's just a breakout place or their uh, support down and then again if it's a hold support then upside play so I'll, that's that's how i'm looking at these levels all right now so yes even though there is weakness right now on tesla um we'll see if tesla can hold these levels and a little bit continue more up today i did sell some more tesla etf actually that in my dividend investing portfolio that I have and that's something I will be talking about today as well later maybe tonight um, on my dividend investing channel link to that channel is in the description of this video all right so check you yeah you want to check that video out as well because yes as I said like in the rebounds I'm a little bit selling off also my Tesla EDF which I did today <laughs> all right so that's Tesla guys um, and oh well so Neo not going to talk about that as I talked about that already on my channel and uh, let's take a look at Rivian so Rivian still uh, rejecting at that very level of $13.65 and structure on this hasn't really turned bullish. Structure on this has, after breaking this, rebounds are still just being bearish and we are still going down. So right now I'm not seeing any upside on this guys. Uh, this thing can just continue lower and it's still rejecting at those levels, $13.65, right? Lucid gave up and uh, this would have been the last area, $3.59 it gave up. Right now, I'm not seeing any structure to the upside, and on this hair, we all, already actually became bearish at this area, right? So we broke that, and we are just continuing lower. That was it, I think, with Lucid, guys. Nothing more here to see on this thing. Um, yeah, so even on the hourly interval, this is the level to watch. If you stay below $3.50, just a downside even like yeah right it's clearly in the downtrend right guys lower highs lower lows and it failed one level today to the downside and breaking yeah so it will have to get above three dollars and 59 cents before even the structure starts to a little bit look to the upside otherwise now all right and the last one is ford right and so ford actually did break the structure a couple of days ago Today's candle was just a rebound, but it's still selling off. You can see structure broke four days ago on this thing right over here. We are below 20 days moving away, still rejecting underneath that. So right now I'm not seeing a bullish continuation on this right now on the structure. So that's that. All right, well, that's pretty much it guys for this video. I um, want to focus on, you know, mostly Tesla and for we can take a look at hourly interval as well but uh, for the levels to watch if there is any possibility to the upside we did see some upside uh, eventually sold off if you want to really look for upside tomorrow on this i don't know how many of you trade it but you can just use the 20 hours moving average if we can stay above it intraday some upside can be tried but remember that's just going to be a rebound right now why so because overall structure is bearish and if we lose this 20 hours moving average, that's yeah, just this overall structure is taking importance. We're just heading lower. All right, that's forward. Um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I just want to show you Neo closed strong above 200 days moving average as well. So I gave you already the levels and everything to watch on this in this video. Check this video out of Neo, guys, if you're interested to to know about what what type of plays or levels to watch, right? All right, and if you need access to my tools, links are in the description below. With that, I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.